Okay, children, since I'm unable to be in school with you, I decided to do a video from home. And I'm going to be teaching you a new topic on angles. Now that we are done with fractions, we are going to move on to the next topic, which is angles. Now in the topic of angles, you will be learning how to draw an, ang uh, draw an angle using a protractor and a ruler and also learn how to measure angles using a protractor okay now i need you to take out your handbook now please do it now and to write down that you need to bring a protractor okay and this is what a protractor looks like if you don't have a protractor please go and get a protractor you can buy this i got this from popular for 45 cents you can also get it from the bookshop or any other bookstores all right they're all the same but this is basically what a protractor looks like please write down in your handbook to bring a protractor okay all right so firstly you're going to learn how to name an angle all right now what do i mean by how to name an angle okay it means that when you have two straight lines my lines are not straight I can't hold the ruler because I'm holding the camera in another hand and drawing with another hand so basically I have no hands to hold a ruler All right now when you have two straight lines and the two lines meet at a point All right these two straight lines they form an angle Alright, so this is what an angle means. Okay, when two straight lines meet at a point, they form an angle. And this angle can be measured using a protractor, which we will learn in the next few days. Alright, so today, I'm going to teach you how to name an angle. Alright, now an angle can be named in two ways. Alright, so... The first way to name an angle is to call it angle A or angle B. Okay, now what does it mean? If you have two straight lines and you have an angle, they, they, the question can just label this A. Alright, so you call this angle A and this is how you draw an angle sign. Alright, or if they call this B, like for example, if the, this is two straight lines if they call this angle B then this will simply be angle B now this is written in small letters alright so this is the first way of naming angles the angle is directly at the angle here the alphabet is directly at the angle here right the second way of naming angles okay is like this for example again i have two straight lines okay and this is the angle all right now instead of naming the angle here writing a letter a here i name my angles at my lines all right now i have this line one line two lines let's call this line capital a B and this line BC. So I have two lines now line AB and line BC. Right, so how do I name this angle here? This angle is called angle ABC. Okay, you notice that the letter B is in the center where the angle is. And the alphabets beside it are basically the, the one where the line comes from. Okay, A, B, C. B must be in the center because B is where the angle is. This means that I can also call it, B must be in the center. This means that I can also call it, instead of A, B, C, I can also call it C, B, A. Okay, as long as the B is in the center. Alright, and you notice that all these are in 
capital letters okay they're all in capital letters all right now let me show you more examples so the first way of naming just means that I have two straight lines And I have an angle, and I call this angle, let's say, small w. So I say this is called angle w. Alright, very simple. The alphabet is given to you, this is called angle w. The second way is when you name the lines. For example, I have two straight lines. I'm going to call this, let's say, x, y, z. My angle is here. All right, and this angle is called angle. Remember, Y must be in the center. What's beside it? X and Z. So X and Z. Okay, Y must be in the center because Y is where the angle is. What's another way of calling this? Y must be in the center. So instead of W, Y, X, you can call it Sorry, not W. Instead of calling it X, Y, Z, you can call it Z, Y, X. Alright, so these are two ways of naming angles.